All right, today we're going to be installing a brake controller on a 2012 GMC Sierra 1500. This is a unit right here. This is a Prodigy P2, part number 90885. show you what you get with this. So that's the brake controller unit itself. Mounting bracket, little holder. Looks like this goes on the back somehow, maybe like this. And then of course the wiring right here. And so this comes with four wires and then um, a little bit of hardware, some butt connectors and screws for mounting. So we'll set that aside, everything except for the wiring. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is locate the pigtail. There's a brake controller pigtail that this truck is equipped with. And I've already pre-located it. It's actually tucked up underneath the dash. This is it right here. So it goes way up in there. If you're looking for this, you gotta dig deep before you're gonna be able to find it. That's where it's located. Take your time. You'll see the wires sticking out to the side a little bit and they're coiled back on themselves. So you just give them a little tug, pull them out gently and then you'll end up with this cluster of wires that we've got right here. Those will wire into the brake controller. Um, we're gonna use all of them except for this orange one. That one's not needed. So the four wires that you saw on that harness are gonna match up with these four right here. And I'll show you how to do that with, in a second. But before that, we're gonna go under the hood into the engine bay. Let me show you this. Right down there, this is just to the side of the fuse box, is a little power wire that you gotta connect. And this will come off. And I've already located a bolt. So that'll only be used to fasten it down here, but we'll uncoil this in a minute. And it, it's a little ring connector that you put onto the power block right here. It's two basic steps. Wire the four wires together using butt connectors, and then wire up this red wire to the power block and then the thing is installed it's just mounting after that so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that now I'll take you step by step through the rest of the process all right so here's the wiring harness that I was showing you before so we're gonna unspool this and start working with this of course you can't forget these are the butt connectors that come with we're gonna go ahead and use these as well After it's uncoiled, you can see it's pretty long. So we're just gonna clip these to length. So they're all even. So we got the blue wire on the manufacturer side. And that matches up to our blue wire on the brake controller side. Now the red wire on the manufacturer side will attach to the black wire on our brake controller. So that'll be power to the brake controller. So the manufacturer blue wire with the white tracer is next and that'll match with the red wire on the brake controller. we're left with white to white.
and there we have it they're all connected there's a little connector all right so remember that little red wire that was off to the side we're going to pull that out now go ahead and release this clamp it is is just like that like I said before this is a nut I found so as long as you can get some good contact you can pretty much use any of them now that's finger tight but I'll we'll find a wrench tighten that down obviously you don't gotta torque on it too much because that's all it is that's that. It's installed. All that's left to do is to go put that back together and then mount the brake controller underneath the dash. And then uh, let's go test this thing out and see how it works. Well, it's powered on. That's a good sign. NC stands for no connection, which is correct since there is no trailer with a brake connected to it right now. Now it stopped flashing. And I presume that this knob on the left adjusts the strength of the brake. And then I don't know what the button on the right was. I'll have to read the directions, but it's installed and functioning, so that's good news. I very loosely taped that up just so I could keep the wires together and they're not loose and hanging all over the place. And then right where the butt connectors were, I taped them much tighter together to protect it from dust and other grime getting in there. All that's left is to find a mounting spot. So what do you think? Not a bad spot? Or should we put it up here? I don't know. I gotta figure that out. So the decision was to mount it right there. It's out of the way. And then when we tighten it down, we'll be able to see the display. No problem. Alright, so there it is installed. Got the wires kind of cleanly going up underneath. Pretty much set to go. This is where it is. Door shut, good gap in there. It's not at any risk of getting hit. So I think it's an excellent choice for a mounting location. You can only see the bare hint of the wires down there. I might take some electrical tape and cover it at some point in time, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. The other thing I wanna show off is what to do if you accidentally blow the fuse, which we did. I did. So we're gonna go back under this. So right here, this is running directly into the brake controller. It's connected up here. That's called an auxiliary post. And the fuse that powers that post is this one right here. You can even see it labeled under the directions. Number 63, if you look at the list, number 63, it's stud two. So I guess it's an auxiliary stud, not an auxiliary post. Um, and then 68 is stud number one, that's a 40 amp. If you're ever wondering where the fuse was, because it took me a little while to figure out which one it was, because I didn't know what to look for, that's the one. And it's a $5 fuse, so <laughs> whatever you do, try not to burn it out. When you're connecting this, Make sure that that is disconnected. That should be the last thing you put on if you're doing anything in terms of adjusting the wiring to that brake controller. It is so easy to short that thing out. I didn't even realize I did it, and I did it. So I hope this video was helpful, and we'll have more stuff going on later. Yes, I fixed it. It's all the way on.